Hey everyone, we are Vitamin Three's Nanika and Shivika. We've been working together and we've been like colleagues and friends for about six months, and we've decided to take our relationship to, to the, the next, next level. level. And we're going to be doing that by swapping and rating erotica. For those of you who don't know, erotica is any kind of sexually stimulating material. So like literature or art that centers sex. and we just feel like there isn't enough conversation around this but erotica can actually be a great way to explore your sexual fantasies and to imagine pleasure we actually picked out some horny bits from our favorite erotica that we're going to swap read and rate yeah and we want to know what you guys think also so we've dropped the links in the description yeah. so watch this video then read them and then comment what you think Yes, let's get into it. <laughs> so, Nanika, the erotica that I have actually picked out my bits from today is from this fan fiction called Turncoat. Uh, it's a Harry Potter fan fiction featuring Draco and Hermione as the main characters. Classic. Yes, of course. And Hermione. Uh, if you know the Harry Potter universe, you know that they are mortal enemies. But yeah, this fan fiction does some very interesting things. So I'm expecting it. angst. So there's going to be a lot of that. Hang on. This was actually sent. I mean, this friend of mine from way back in 2013. She had shared this fan fiction with me. But it's something that's super special, and I keep like going back to it even today for like erotic reasons. That's so, sense sharing erotic fan fiction. Love that too. Cool. So these are horny bits from Turncoat. Let's get into it. Let's go. I push myself up off her and unbutton my pants. Her heated gaze glides over my chest and arms before shifting to the area that my hands are currently covering. I never thought a look from a girl could be this hot. I'll never have enough of her. I have a really soft spot in my heart for a woman being admired or like desired. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but like so I really like the perspective shift over here. It's pretty cool. I really like the whole I never knew thought a look from a girl could be this yeah. hot. It's just perfect. How would you rate this? I would one? give this like yeah, instant like five unbuttoned pants for me. <laughs> Let's go for it. Yeah. Amazing. I reach down between us and gently rub at her clit. She breaks her kiss to let out a satisfied moan and I let my lips trail back towards her ear. I press two digits into her, stretching her out so that my entry might be a little less painful for her. Can I just say something? <laughs> yes. Can I just This is super hot, but I hate I hate the word digits. It's what can someone explain to me what is sexual about the word digits <laughs> instead of fingers? It's just I I have it a problem. Works for people, I guess. But I do like this like foreplay, like the like rubbing of the clit, going back to the ear. Yeah. The it's very sensory. It's just I love it. Digits is what I would like. I feel like I would rate this three digits out of five, just because of the word digits. It's very unsexy to me. Fan fiction writers, yeah. please note. Yeah, that Nadia does things. not like digits. Digits I do, are not sexy. I do, however, think really like how considerate he's being, and like thinking about whether it might be painful for her, how to be gentle. It's a first-person narration, so and in the entire story, they keep switching perspectives from oh yes, both the protagonists. So because it's POV or like perspective storytelling, it for me it almost feels like you are in the mind of that person, yeah. and that to me is way more fun to read in like a erotic style of writing. Also, the uh, sex scenes then come twice. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, yeah do. well, it's a hundred chapters. Very creative. Long, so very creative. Props for creativity. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Love so it. this is three digits. This out is of three five. digits out of five. Sorry to this author. I have to dock two digits for this <laughs> rating. Just. Just use the word fingers. Amazing. Just use the word fingers. Wow, I am winning so far with this recommendation. Can I just yeah, say? Yeah, it's. I'm surprised too. I mean, like, I didn't know Dermani was my thing. <laughs> I'm into it though. I really like the angst. Let's go. He kisses my lips again, and then works his way down my neck. I know where he's headed, and my belly clenches in anticipation. I've always been uncomfortable with my body, and thought that I was about average. Dermani, what? The <laughs> but I'm suddenly terrified. What if Draco doesn't like your beautiful Hermione? He murmurs against my skin. Does he know what I was just thinking? 
Yeah. And that was really I'll tell you what. I really like this because yeah. I really like the fact that like insecurity is sort of a part of like that vulnerability and that and sex, right? Because you're always thinking about your like body you're always thinking about whether you're good enough or whether you're adequate yeah. it's not ideal but it does happen yeah and so i like that she's thinking about that and then that instant validation sort of comes in the your beautiful yeah. big props to you draco for this and how would you rate this bit i think this is 5 stars for me out of like a 5 star scale this is 5 stars for me amazing i love it when like there's realistic sort of stream of consciousness going on and yeah super relatable to yeah. her mini feeling insecure in the yeah moment. Yeah, relatable queen. <laughs> Does that mean that you're actually going to go and check out this fan fiction? Hell, hell yeah. Okay, cool. So, what have you got for me today? So, what I've got for you today is Captain America fan fiction. It's uh, it's called Breathe Into Me, and it's basically uh, I found it when I was in college, and I was just scrolling and looking for like Marvel fan fiction generally, and I found this one about Captain America discovering porn through this made-up love interest. And uh, yeah, this is this is really special to me because I think he's very he has this like sexual innocence and he's very awkward. Okay, okay, which no more spoilers. Yeah. I'm gonna get into yeah. it right away. Cool. This is Captain America fan fiction called Breathe Into Me. Cool. Steve typed in the first site Violet had sent him and scrolled through the categories to female masturbation. <laughs> the thumbnails that appeared had him shutting. <laughs> Oh my god. Hard relate. Hard relate. I ha yeah. The thumbnails that appeared had him shutting the whole laptop down in immediately. Yeah. Same. Been there Steve and done that. Sure he had seen vaginas in his usual porn, but never so intimately. It felt invasive. He unpaused a video letting his imagination lead him away from the reality of this stranger on his screen to the fantasy of Violet. Her head thrown back as she thought of him between her legs. Yes. Can we just unpack this? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. So Steve, Captain America. Captain yeah, America. Have that visual in your head. Chris, which one again? Evans, the best one. That's debatable. I But mean, sure, Chris Evans. Frustrated by a thumbnail with I'm I'm guessing is like genitals like on his face literally. He's not Oh my god, this is He is a very innocent man over here. It's really sweet. I love it. Okay, what I love the most about this is like basically he's using this what he's watching as like an imagination to like think about yeah fantasy the fodder other, literally yeah. yeah so pretty much like all of us do it pretty as well much, yeah. so feeling super related to him over here. Also love how it's what Violet sent him. She she knew what love she was doing. It. She knew what she was doing. Love that. Yeah. Got to appreciate this yeah. game. How do you rate this? I would rate this four out of out thumbnails. Of five. Four thumbnails yeah, out, of out of five. five. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. Definitely, I am very curious about where else you're going to go with this. I love it. Check it out. First, a kiss, gentle and promising, right on the tip of her clitoris. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. He knows where it is. Then a lick, firm but pliant, joining between her folds to where her pussy opened. Then back up to that little nub of nerves his research had seared in his mind. We stand a scientist. Steve the scientist. Steve the scientist. <laughs> Love you, Steve. Finally, he sucked, pulling her clitoris between his lips for his long tongue to flick against. We arched off the bed with a curse, and Steve stopped, drawing back for reassurance. Yes, she groaned, meeting his eyes. Do that again. What do you think? What do you say? think? Good job, Steve. Good job. There is a lot to learn over here from generally how he is approaching this whole exploration, and I love that he is pausing. He's sort of coming back yeah. to sort of see what the reaction to what he's doing is. So love that. Yeah, it's like no love no that he has researched about what it is that. will kind of get the kind of reaction from his partner that he is wanting love this in the sheet of to do research i love that it's so methodical too and again i'm thinking like captain america right the america's most like confident yeah. like macho guy in this very like vulnerable yeah. position where he's like oh am i doing this right i love that very much against like what ma- like masculinity defines you know sexual exploration to be and this is yeah. this is amazing wow i that's it 
you not brought me any more bits. I thought I would tease you. Would you? Oh! Would you? Would you read this though? Would you read? I like, would a hundred percent. I would a hundred percent read this. I just wish you had more material for me. But I love it. So there's a clearly a female character who's sort of driving this whole She's thing. She's trying to trace. She is. Yeah. She is like. Yeah. Playing at him quite a yeah. bit, and like he's falling into the trap. Yeah. I love that. I love it. And I, I love how he is being shy about it. I love how he is. Yeah, love yeah. everything about this. Yeah, the shyness and awkwardness is just yeah. super yeah. relatable and also like a nice thing to like fantasize about. Amazing. I would rate this as well five tongues to flick. Tongues to flick <laughs> on five. Yeah, five out of five. This is amazing. Very disappointed that we got only two excerpts for me, Nanika. But um, I just want everyone to want more. <laughs> clearly, the scores show that we have both won. Yeah. Turn coat. And breathe, breathe into, into me. me are both winners, and we will be checking out each other's recommendations. Yeah, you guys can also do that by clicking on the description links and checking them out. So, if you want to read some erotica, you can check out erotic fan fiction, just general erotica, erotic photography, audio erotica. Novels, um, even comic books. Yeah, we've actually left a few recommendations for you guys in the description. Uh, would love for y'all to check them out and tell us what you think in the comments. And if y'all have any other recommendations you want to share with us, leave them in the comments too. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Vitamins Three.